Leo, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 14th of July. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my Teacup Tarot deck. So let's have a look at your cards. And your overall energy this week is the Seven of Wands. This is about you being assertive. It's stepping up and speaking up. But this card says do it with kindness. Now on the card look, she's so close to success, but she has to get through this gate with these grumpy sheep behind it. So she's going to have to be assertive, but she's going to have to be kind at the same time. And that's your overall energy. Crossing this energy, your help or your hurdle, the Queen of Coins is here. A beautiful energy. The Queen is an authority figure in the deck and very grounded, very practical, very resourceful, very focused on home, family and finances. And she's very good at all of those lovely things and always making sure that those people and pets who come into her orbit have all their needs met. A very mothering energy, a very caring energy. So this seven of wands, yes, be assertive and overlight it with practicality and grounded common sense. The underlying energy, we've got the Empress. A major arcana card. So this is a, a really high energy card. And this is all about you getting busy with new ideas, new projects. The Empress is all about doing, not just thinking about doing or intending to do. Look, she's busy here. She's got her apron on. She's got her sleeves rolled up and she's busy on her new projects. So this is the energy that you need to be really focusing on. Getting busy, taking action, not just thinking about it or avoiding it. The beginning of the week, we've got the strength card. So next to each other, you've got the seven of wands and the strength card. Again, this is about stepping up and speaking up, but being kind as you do so. The middle of the week, We've got the six of coins, the pennies from heaven card. This is things that you've been hoping for and working towards and manifesting coming into view. And with it being the coin suit, very much to do with work life, home life, financial life. So keep your eyes open for these opportunities coming in. The end of the week, this is you making you move forward. It's about positive partnerships, working alongside somebody else. And it's only when you work together that the success can be found. Here we are with the Ace of Coins. This is your influence this week. This is about something new. Now, I was just talking here about a new opportunity and here it is the ace of coins something new it could be a pay rise it could be a promotion it could be um a new job it could be a new career a new area of study a financial windfall anything like that to do with home life work life material life and here is our lovely angel look she's found the keys to this treasure chest and she's moving towards this golden opportunity that's what you need to be focusing on this week other people their influence this week is about the tiny details it's about Dotting the I's, crossing the T's, reading the small print twice. Make sure you look into all those details very, very carefully, especially where this new opportunity is coming in. Don't just take it at face value. Do your homework, do your research and find out all the details. The Ten of Coins is next in the hopes and dreams. This is lovely. Financial security, peace of mind, Quality time with loved ones. Quality time with family. Everybody appreciating the little things, which we know are the really important things. 
And your final outcome card is the Knight of Pencils. Now, this is lovely. So this is fast moving energy. You might have decisions to make quite quickly. And this Knight comes in and says, choose carefully. On the card, we have a lovely choice of a main road that's well marked or a bumpy track full of potholes. She's got to go slow enough to see the options and make a wise and sensible choice. And that's just what you need to be aware of this week. So looking at the reading overall, being assertive, stepping up and speaking up in a kind way. The Queen of Coins says use grounded common sense, be practical and resourceful. Get busy on those new ideas because the new opportunities are coming in. So make the most of them. Take the action. Move towards the opportunity. Look into it first. Make sure that you know that all the fine details are in place. That small print, all the small details need looking into. Very much an energy of you moving forward as part of a positive partnership towards happy home life, happy financial life and making your choices carefully from a grounded, sensible and practical perspective. So very much a week of choices, very much a week of you stepping up and speaking up. And when you do all of those things here is the golden opportunity. Here are the opportunities that you've been waiting for. And you getting very busy working on these new projects and enjoying them. Financial security, happiness, happy home life. It's absolutely beautiful. So, Leo, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. A lovely week for you coming up of opportunities, something new, but be mindful to look into it all carefully. Step up and speak up when you need to. And just make sure you use the beautiful qualities of the Queen of Coins, which is grounded common sense, practicality and resourcefulness. And those will serve you well. So have a lovely week. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. All those things are free to do and they really do support my channel. And I'm truly grateful for those. So look after yourselves. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.